Hi, I'm Sherry. I'm a realtor in Vancouver and welcome to my channel. Today, I'd like to share with you a very popular way for people to buy real estate in Vancouver these days. And this is pre-sale. I have been working in the pre-sale side of the real estate industry since 2007. So today, what I'd like to do is share my knowledge and my expertise on this topic to help you better understand pre-sale and how it works. I will be answering 10 common questions today. Here they are. Number one, what is pre-sale? Number two, why would somebody buy pre-sale? Number three, where do you buy pre-sale? Number four, how much money do you need to prepare to buy pre-sale? Number five, why do you need to pay a deposit? Number six, when does your mortgage payment start? Number seven, are there taxes on the purchase price? Number eight, if you are working with a realtor, who pays the realtor? Number nine, can you change your mind after signing a contract? And number 10, can the price of the home still change after you sign the contract? So number one, what is pre-sale? Pre-sale in the real estate industry is when a buyer is able to purchase real estate that is not ready to move in yet, which means it's probably under construction or the construction will begin soon. Having the first question answered usually brings up a second question, which is if the home is not ready to move in yet, then why do people buy pre-sale? Well, there are quite a lot of reasons. Some scenarios could be um, a retiring couple planning for retirement that's coming in the next three, four years. So they're planning for it now. They have some money set aside for that, but they're not 100% ready to do it right now. So they buy pre-sale. Or if you are a young new parent and your kids are still young right now, but eventually they'll be going to school. So you want to be able to move into a school catchment where the school is right for your kids. Or you could be moving to Vancouver from somewhere around the world or somewhere else in Canada. You're just moving to Vancouver to start a new life. These are some of the scenarios that could happen, but essentially what it comes down to is that you want to be able to secure a home for the future at today's prices. This brings me to the next question. Where do you buy pre-sales? Well, pre-sales are usually sold by the developers who are developing the projects and they are usually sold in sales centers or presentation centers. Sometimes the sales centers are located right there on site where the building will be built or the master plan community will be built. But it could also be off site so that construction can happen during the time the sales is happening too. When you visit a presentation center, you will usually find a display home, a scale model of the building, and pretty much all of the, the marketing material that you can take with you, including a brochure with floor plans and pricing. Question number four, how much money would you need to prepare in order to buy pre-sale? Well, since the pre-sale home is not ready for you to move in yet, so when you sign a contract with the developer, you will not need to pay the full amount yet. However, you do need to prepare and pay a deposit. Every development is different depending on the size of the development, the project itself, the length of time it would take for construction to be complete, 
or the stability of the market, each developer will collect a different amount for deposit. However, generally speaking, developers usually collect a total of 20% deposit and they could be broken down into several different payments over a stretch of time. For example, at Richmond Center, the developer requires three separate payments equaling a total of 20%. Or another example is Portside, which the developer requires two payments equaling a total of 15%. So you may ask, if the home is not even ready to move in yet, why do you need to put up any money at all, any deposit? Well, there are two main reasons. First, when you sign a contract to buy a home, you are essentially making a promise to the seller that you will pay for the home once construction is finished. To show your sincerity, a portion of the payment should be made first. But the second reason, which is the most important of all, is for a contract to be legally binding, a consideration or something of value, in this case money, is given in exchange for the contractual promise. Simply put, the deposit makes the contract enforceable by law. During the construction period, while you were waiting for your home to complete, you would have paid the full deposit already. Say for example, if the deposit was 20%, then you would have had a remaining 80% left at completion still needed to be paid. Now this 80% you can borrow from the bank and this would be called a mortgage. So when does your mortgage payment start? Simple answer, your mortgage payment starts on your completion day when you get title to your home. So at this point, construction is already finished, the home is ready to move in, occupancy permit has been received, and the developer is ready to transfer title to you. So at completion, when the developer transfer the title to you, the bank will transfer the remaining amount, the 80% to the developer to pay off this home. And you as the buyer who signed a contract with the bank, um, a mortgage agreement with the bank, you would be paying the bank back in installments, which we call mortgage payments. Now keep in mind that everybody's borrowing power is different because everyone's financial situation is different. So please consult a mortgage specialist or a mortgage broker to find out your own borrowing power. Are there taxes on top of your purchase price when you buy a pre-sale home? Yes. What are they? Well, there are two taxes that you need to be aware of. The first tax is PTT, Property Transfer Tax. Regardless of whether or not you buy pre-sale, if it's new, if it's old, it doesn't matter. As long as you purchase or gain an interest in a property, you must pay this tax. The second tax is the GST. GST only applies to brand new properties, which means if you're buying a pre-sale home, it is a brand new property, therefore you need to pay the 5% GST. Both of these taxes will have some exemptions and I will have the information to these qualifications down below. If you are working with a realtor, who pays for the realtor? The developer. So if you bring your realtor with you to a presentation center and you sign a contract to purchase a home, your realtor's job is to represent you and help you through this purchase process. 
but the payment of his commission, his or her commission, will come from the developer. The developer would have a commission package already put together. So whenever a home is sold with a realtor, the commission will come directly from the seller, which is the developer. Question number nine. Can you change your mind after signing a contract to purchase a pre-sale home? The answer is yes, but it's only acceptable within a certain period of time. In pre-sale, we call this time the rescission period. So the rescission period is seven days, which means within the first seven days of you signing that contract, you can change your mind without any penalties. So say for example, today you go into the sales center and you sign a contract and you put down a deposit, you provide a check, you put down your initial 10% deposit. If you change your mind within the next seven days, the deposit in its full amount, full 10% will be given back to you and you can walk away from the contract with no penalties. The final question of the day, can the price of the home still change after the contract is signed? The answer is no. The whole reason for a deposit to be paid is to make the contract legally binding and enforceable by both parties which means after the contract is signed, deposit is paid, the terms of the contract will be firm. The price of the home will not change for either party. The developer will not be able to change the price on you. And likewise, you won't be able to change the price on the developer either. So regardless of which direction the market goes, up or down, the price of the home that you agreed upon on the contract will be the price that you pay at completion. This concludes our Vancouver Real Estate Q&A video. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully this information has been useful for you. If there are any topics that you would like me to discuss in my next video, please comment below. And in the meanwhile, if you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like my videos, enjoy the content, and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe!